Well, hello, hello, we are live and this is another episode of Wellness Wednesday. Hello, hello, it's another episode of Wellness Wednesday and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Uh, as always, uh, with a lot of light and love for you, I show up here to give a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of uh, maybe motivation, new ideas, new perspective for your better way of life. That is my mission in life and that's uh, every time I think about something, I learn something new, I want to share it with you because I think life is more fun when shared, um, when we share our well, our goodness, our insights, and life is more fun when we're sharing everything together, right? Living things, um, we're all part of this beautiful universe, and when we share, is that it, we mean we it means we care. So for a long time, I was like hiding and at fear and not knowing how people would resonate with my messages. Nowadays, I feel that the more inspired I am, the more I show up for me and for you guys here, uh, the more wellness I, I surround myself with. So I hope today's episode will help you in some way or matter. And I called it the, the ride of life. If you have seen me before, seen my post, I love riding bikes. Um, I love going outside in nature. I love everything that provides me with a little bit more energy and energy. What better source of energy than the world's and the universal um, energy? So last Sunday, I was riding a bike, but it was a static bike. I went back to what I used to do before in uh, the YMCA, I went to uh, my writing class, a uh, spinning class, and the instructor happened to be the same one that I took years past. And everything I was really into, I had done my morning routine, and it was, um, I felt like in my energy, you know, when you feel like really, really good and real connected to everything, that you feel just kind of enlightened. And that's how I went to the class. And as I was starting to spin and connect, I was really feeling happy. I started listening to her words. And it, her words like were inspiring me to just write everything down because everything that she was saying can totally be translated to how we live life. So I want to read some parts of that uh, because I think you might resonate and if you have any comments, please, please comment, um, make a comment so I can reply on you. And if you're listening to this live, let me know that you're here and say live. And if you're listening to the replay and you came across this uh, beautiful message, just put hashtag replay. And I think we all learn more from stories and experiences from others because we resonate. So if anything that I share with you today resonates with you, any little phrase, message, or inspiration, let me know in the comments also. So I love having interaction with you guys. So let me ask you first something. What does it take to achieve your goals in life? So some, some say you have to work hard for it, right? To achieve your goals, you really have to work hard. Others say that you have to get energetically connected to manifest your goals. Well, I like to say that we need a balance of both. I think life is a balance. So we need to work, not hard, but with intention and knowing exactly what we're, go what we're working towards. But not to the extension that we are like doing nothing else but work, 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 right? Because you see um, you need to balance in life. So actually having the intention of the goal and letting go of the absence of not having the goal yet is what brings life to, uh, helps life to bring it and manifest it for you better and faster. 
and it has taken me years and years and years of practices in myself and thoughts and beliefs and feelings and changing things around to really kind of acknowledge this and understand. Sometimes we're working too hard or spending life too hard to get that goal that we want. What is the end result? What is it that we want to achieve? Or what is it that we think we're going to, we feel when we have that? Usually it is happiness. Usually it is joy. Usually we're working hard because we want to feel more at joy, more at peace. So why not? do the things that bring us peace and feel connected and that will allow us to help us reach our goals. So let's learn how to ride the cycles of life and I just want you to listen, maybe even listen to these words. Imagine yourself, you are on a bicycle. I want you to close your eyes and think you're starting to spin and just listen to my words and see what resonates with you. I'm very, very curious to see. This is like a little experiment, but I want you to experience maybe what I was experiencing um, and maybe, maybe you experience something totally different because it all depends on the energy and how you feel in the moment when you hear those words. So that's why it's super important to to be intentional on the things that we're doing and create some uh, morning rituals or morning routine to give you the energy that you want. And that's energy that is different from a go-go thing. So just close your eyes as you're listening to my life today and imagine yourself on a bike. And I'm going to just say some words and see what happens, right? So we're starting to spin we're just hopping on the bike starting to warm up find your sweet spot just spin spin and find your sweet spot where you know that you can always come back to this place so just start spinning your bike and start warming up those legs now i want you to feel this calm strength that you have while you're spinning and when you need power you just need to come up, use momentum and go down and then meet yourself where you're at and utilize this as your inner power. So know that at every moment, any moment you can stand up and push hard. And then if you have feel that it's too hard, you can always come and sit down and meet yourself where you're at. Utilize your power as you know it and let yourself be guided. So I want you to hammer it and push and pull, push and pull, lever it and protect your knees while you are spinning, pretending you're on your bike still with your eyes closed. So we have time, just spin. Now I want you to slow and steady and go strong for a little bit. Just spin strong, 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 strong. And now take a deep breath and I want you to lower the resistance. Now spin with a lower resistance and I want you to now add resistance. You always have options. Take it up and spin and add a little bit more and I want you to hit it. Now for a little bit, just hit it. Spin hard, 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 go strong. And if you need to slow down, just take a rest, take a breath, sit down and rest. Are you ready? Now go up and go, 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 go. Now push and pull, push and pull a little longer, push a little longer, push a little bit longer. Then push, then five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath. Shake it all out and now sit down and calm. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Now slow down and cup up, catch up your air. Catch up with your breath. I want you to shake out your legs. Now up and down, rider's choice, right? We always have a choice. And I want you to be aware of which leg is leading 
and then which leg can you switch to have switch leads. So in life, notice that there is always one dominant size, or side. We're always using one side more than the other. And when the dominant side gets stressed out, I want you to find balance and start noticing that you also have another side of you. You also have a left side. If you're predominantly right, you also have a left. So, but we forget to use that left. We have a left brain, we have a left arm, we have a left leg. So if we're using constantly the right side of our brain, our arm, our hand to write, our leg to, to spin, maybe we're getting exhausted, maybe we're uh, overusing it. And what happens even with the hips when we're overusing one side, the hips get unleveled. So just notice this and understand that if you start using your non-predominant side, Maybe you're very intellectual in your brain and you're using out just one side of the brain. Now start using the other one. If you're very intellectual, then go for a ride, uh, go for a walk into nature, uh, connect with more spiritual things, uh, be more artistic, and that will also kind of help you balance things in life. Maybe if you have never used your left, left arm or left hand to write or to wear your makeup or maybe to eat, maybe you will spill everything out. But maybe this is a challenge that I want to help you with and I want to be part of it. Challenge yourself and use your left, your left everything, your left leg, your left arm and start, let's start uh, eating with your left hand today and see how that feels. So this is part of life so the spinning in life and i wanted to bring that to you because also we need to learn that sometimes we want to be the teachers right we are parents we are some of you are teachers some of the of us are just working in a job and need to receive instructions and we are or, or want to give instructions or for my example i am a coach right so i'm always wanting to take the lead or the lead as a mom and you're always being the lead sometimes we just need to let go and also that helps with balance we need to let go and be led by someone so everything in life is a balance of giving and receiving letting go and putting pressure so it's all about you know how when to allow for others to lead you or when we are in need to lead so i felt it was really really resonating with me and i hope it's resonating with you because that is how you get to know your body so know when your body is uh, maybe your legs in your spinning class or your running or your in life are very fatigued. So you have to understand and notice in your body how your heartbeat is feeling and know when you're fatigued that you can take a deep breath and relax and bring back to um, balance. So there is a word that I love to say is homeostasis. So our body is very intelligent and it's always looking for homeostasis. But sometimes we're not even allowing it to reach homeostasis because all the things that we're overdoing, overthinking, overconsuming, overeating. So all these things that we're using in demand, it's probably sabotaging our health, our energy and our balance in life. Um, so I want you to imagine that yourself that you're still on the bike and you're pedaling and pedaling hard 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 and you feeling that fatigue that heartbeat is beating really really hard I want you to push a little harder we always have that little extra that we can go harder but we also have to know when we have to let go and slow down so there is a fine line right there we can stretch ourselves to get better 
especially when you're trying to get stronger in some areas of your muscles and your body, you have to have someone that helps you push yourself a little harder, but also you have to know yourself when it's enough. So sometimes you have to pedal faster, sometimes you have to take it slow. Sometimes if you're in a, in a street bike, you can even fall down. Know that you can learn, you can hop on again and keep going. The thing with riding a bike or riding the, the ride of life is to bring balance, learn how to bring balance, find your rhythm and enjoy the ride. So um, learning strategies, tricks and different tools I think is the magic to achieving any goal in life. Not for just success in achieving that what you want, but the feel that this, the success is the discovering of a different way, the discovering of achieving it, the pleasure of discovering the juiciness of how, how to ride the, the ride of life. And when you're in that part, you will enjoy so much more. When you start seeing life from this point of view, from this perspective, into knowing that everything is, in, is balance. So learning how your body functions and maybe you're overweight, maybe you are um, feeling anxious and depressed and you're kind of beating yourself up and taking all those medications for anxiety. Know that everything, everything in life can be balanced by understanding your body, how it works, your mind, how it works, and what your needs for your heart are. So when we're lacking something, our heart is so, it is, is sad, right? So how are you meeting your needs to satisfy your heart, to fulfill your heart's needs, your body's needs, your thought processing, and if everything is aligned there, then you will start feeling much better. So I like to mention a statement from Sig Sadler, and he says, what you get by achieving your goal is not as important as what who you become by achieving your goals. So the beauty is in the adventure, the, the beauty is in the uh, journey, not on the destination. So this week I was writing also uh, a post and I said, well, for me, what really got me into getting into health and wellness and becoming a health coach and teaching others the basics of life was because I don't want to be at my deathbed regretting my life and saying, oh, I should have done this, I should have said this, I should have worked harder on this, I should have learned, I should have. I don't want to live like that. And I know that I think that is the worst thing that can happen. I should have connected with so-and-so, I should have said this. And I'm still working towards that, right? But it's all about the journey and improving ourselves. The more we improve ourselves, the better light we bring from the inside out, and then we can shine a light on others. If we don't feel, think about this for a second. If you don't feel good with yourself, how are the people around you feeling? Maybe negative, maybe not feeling really good. So another little example that I had the, this week is like my son was not feeling it. He was in a very bad mood and he, you could see he's a big, big boy and he, his energy was dense. Oh my gosh, you could cut the air with the knife. And before I would worry a lot. And this time I said, you know what, that is his problem I if he does not want to be helped or or left alone it's the best thing I think that we can do is not even mention things like he can figure things out whatever was uncomfortable for him then he went upstairs and he took 
two hours of his time to do I don't know what he did but then he came back and he was so much more cheerful and he was open and he was open to talking we all have our time so when you're having a bad moment like that or somebody else that you love and that you know I just want you to know that it's not about you it's not something wrong that you did they are dealing also with something or maybe that's you maybe that's you there that you are dealing with that something so when that happens just let go and do not uh, try to fix it they or you can fix it on your own or look for somebody else another source go and do something that you enjoy for yourself and maybe you will lighten up take a spin class go out for a walk go and ride your bike or just call somebody that you love or some a friend so when you change your energy and when you help others feel better you will feel better just remember that so each ride will take you to explore new faces and new places so think about your life as a ride so um, now it's time to take new rides in life maybe you're in your 40s maybe you're in your 50s maybe you're in your 60s and you still have a heart of adventure you still want to have more joy in life it's never too late ladies never never too late to explore something new to learn something new to do things new because that is a joy of life um, I think that because it is very hard to change our habits uh, I think it is very very hard as they are a way that we were brought up with so our habits sometimes they're not even ours they are borrowed we 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 acquire those habits from our family traditions from our parents from our teachers and they are not completely ours so that's why sometimes you struggle so much with changing a habit because it's not in alignment when you're 40s 50s 60s those habits are no longer in alignment who with the values that you have with the values that or the person who you are or the person who you want to become so there has to be some adjustment in those uh, in those habits in order to achieve the goals that you want so know that what you believe right now can be replaced and you can establish new thinking patterns that will lead you to take new actions so that you can feel better so think about habits as a machine or as a computer if you want that machine to run smoother you need to change some of the pieces or some of the programs in that machine or that computer this is the same way that you need to change your thought patterns so that they can lead you to take the actions that will help you achieve the goals that you want so they have to come in alignment to exactly what you want if not there's not a miss there is a mismatch and it will not help you change um, achieve your goals maybe you want to lose weight and you're going on a diet or just drinking ketones <clears throat> somebody that you know um, maybe you're just drinking ketones to achieve that but there is so much more you need to go all in like with your mind your brain your uh, your heart your soul your actions everything in alignment so that you can achieve those goals so in order to make some changes you need to consider five things you need to consider your circumstances number one you need to consider your thoughts you need to consider your feelings number four you need to consider your actions and then number five your results your results will be linked to all these things in alignment and then your results will con complete a circle to again your circumstances so you will start changing your life circumstances to align everything and it's like a full circle so it's like a, a full spin each ride or its stride is going to be a full circle it is not by depriving yourself of something something that will help you feel or get better quite the opposite it is by feeling abundant and grateful to be in the journey that will help you take better rides to explore more fun places so 
what I have done in my program, and I know I always mention this because we need options. We need better options to get better. And with um, what I did is I created the m M&M and coaching program. And through that, you will learn how to brighten up uh, your light that has been dimmed maybe for a long time in different areas of your life. And you start feeling happier and more enjoyable to be around when this happens. When you start shining a light that comes from within, you learn more about yourself, you become the best version of yourself, then you will feel so joyous that you will start impacting the people around you. And when that happens, magic happens. Believe me, it feels so, so good. So you must decide if this is what you want. Decide what you want, decide if you are ready to take on uh, changes in your life to be a better version of yourself. That is what my program does. That is what Mike's Wellness does for you. And the first thing or the first action that you need to do is just connect with me. We have a discovery call and that discovery call will lead us to know what is the next step for you to improve your well-being so you can be the best version of yourself. I hope today has um, brought you a little light of inspiration, motivation, take a different action and take your approach to life in a different way. I want you to lighten up a little bit and enjoy life because what is life without enjoyment, right? Bring more joy to you so that you can be more joy to be around with everyone and everything that you do. With a lot of light and joy, happy, happy Wellness Wednesday. And if you need to connect with me, the links are always be down below. If this is a YouTube video, you will see the link below to connect with me for a discovery call. And if you are in my wellness group, you will know how to connect with me as well. I'm always open to connecting with you and helping you shine a little light in your life. Talk to you soon and happy Wellness Wednesday. Bye. Thank you for watching today.